training topics in NSTP, and we will just meet for the writing of our project proposal for finals. Of course, we will actualize that. If we perform natin, hindi lang ipi present yung magagawa natin na project proposal for finals, just like what we did during the winter. Okay, so our topic for this morning is all about evaluation of NSTP projects for community immersion. As I have told you, the success of a community project does not stop from the moment that we were done distributing those food packages, um, those yung mga ibinigay natin na uh, hygiene kits, or lecturing in front of these um, Bajal brothers and sisters, hindi natatapos doon. Actually, the success of evaluation can be measured through a proper evaluation, and that is what we're going to talk about this morning. Okay? So in every project for NSTP, its activities require an effective system which provides information on the extent which projects are achieving their objectives. So the activities are checked if it is conducted in an economical and timely manner. The activities contribution in the attainment of the total objectives of the program is very essential. Any information can be provided in both monitoring and evaluation system, which provides information required by the planners, policy makers, trainers, and the trainees involved in the program. So any information that we are to gather from these evaluation of the projects that we have recently conducted will be of great help on how we can do it even better for the next time. Okay? So evaluation as defined by a systematic assessment of the value of or worth of something. The something could be the NSTP projects or other programs, a technique used in the fieldwork or a situation prevalent in a particular community. Okay, so to NSTP trainees and trainers, evaluation means the value or meat of his teaching learning activities. And these are the questions that are asked mostly. Number one, did I meet the objectives? This is very important. You can determine the success of the NSTP community outreach um, activity or program or project if you have met the objectives. So at the beginning, when we were still crafting or writing or planning our NSTP community outreach, we set objectives such as how many um, beneficiaries are our target. So namit ba natin yun? Did we exceed our objective? In exceed na exceed ba natin, nalampasan ba natin yung sinet natin na objective? And actually, yes, kasi parang nag-set lang tayo ng 30, 40, at marami. At dahil nakikoordinate pa kayo sa outside stakeholders, mas marami pa kayong naibigay. Yung vitamins natin, hindi nyo naman, um, hindi nyo naman talaga binili yun, pero ibinigay sa atin, a courtesy of kay Ana ng BSIT, and so very good. So, ganun. Tatanungin mo yung sarili mo kung namit mo ba yung objectives. Yan yung unang-unang tanong. And number two, are the strategies appropriate in meeting the objectives? Yung mga naging, uh, let's say, yeah, strategies, not really tactics. Yung mga naging ways ba natin, pamamaraan natin para i-conduct yung naging outreach activity natin. Appropriate ba siya sa pagpapatupad or sa pagkakasakatuparan na isinet natin na objectives. And I think the answer is also yes kasi naging maganda yung resulta uh, instead of maglagad ang init nag ko tayo. I think that's a very good uh, strategy in going to the community and then asking for the assistance of a barangay official. Ginawa din natin yun. Nagpasama tayo. Ayan. So may mga naging ilang pasaway sa inyo uh, you reflect on that. Okay, kasi um, faithful tayo, no? walang nangyaring masama, walang nangyaring hindi inaasahan. However, uh, hindi rin kasi natin may iwasan yun at hindi rin natin masasabi. So as much as possible, we are making ways to avoid unwanted incidences. Okay, incidents or, or um, disgrasya o kung ano man dyan. So yung mga naglakad, kahit na sinabi ko na nga na mag tricycle tayo, yung yung mga sumunod, kahit na hindi naman talaga sana sila kasama kasi at the very last minute, nagbago tayo ng isip, sinabi natin na aside for, na instead of 10 to 15, 5 na lang, para konti lang tayo kasi ginitinit at uh, masyadong marami na pala yung 10 to 15. Ang basis ko lang kasi doon sana ay kahit papano, at least 
one fourth, one fifth of the class ay makasama. Okay? Pero masyado na palang marami yun. Uh, kaso, ayan, uh, I, I, I admire naman your courage, your interest, yung willingness ninyo to to join us to help us and to witness the smiles of these bajau kids bajau brothers and sisters natin however paano kung may nangyari sa inyo that time the ano na compromise na yung community outreach activity natin so yun yung mga bagay na kailangan natin na magreflect tayo the number three, do the results equate with the input spent, tantamang ba yung uh, naging resulta sa, naging, sa, sa effort na ibinigay natin, sa lahat ng inputs na ibinigay natin or ginawa natin, tantamang ba yung naging resulta? Um, yung level of satisfaction nyo ba ay tumumbas doon sa level of efforts na inexert ninyo? Okay, so kung the answer is yes, then probably we can say that uh, our community outreach activity has become so successful and we intend to either maintain that or surpass it, okay? Hindi lang yung maintain, kailangan isurpass mo. So, meron pa tayong finals, isurpass natin siya sa ating finals, okay? So, importance of evaluation. It provides trainers or trainees and other people an idea of the activities, progress, and accomplishments and how they fare well in the achievement of goals. So results serve as basis for empowerment in carrying out activities. Okay, results are a very important data or a very important information in continuing or carrying out our activities. Kasi kung nagkataon na ang naging resulta ay pangit, ipagpapatuloy ba natin yung activity? Siyempre hindi. Maghihinto tayo, mag-reflect tayo, may mga kailangan tayong baguhin along the process. So, kung hindi naging successful yung naging activity natin, babalikan natin yung mga naunang steps natin and we will try to find out kung ano ang mali sa bawat step na yon or sa bawat proseso na yon. Bakit naging ganun yung resulta? Bakit hindi natuwa yung mga badya? Bakit may mga nagkaroon ng allergic reaction? Bakit may mga na food poison? Oh, well, walang ganun. I'm just setting an example. So, gaya nang isinabi ko sa inyo ng face-to-face -face lecture tayo, uh, very crucial ang feeding program. Uh, ang layunin mo lang ay makatulong, maka, uh, magkahandog ng pagkain or ng saya sa mga target beneficiaries natin, crucial siya in a sense na kailangan natin mag-ingat yung sanitation na dapat malinis yung pagkain para hindi sila ma-food poison or hindi sumakit ang kanilang chan, hindi sila nakatulong ka, nag-cost ka pa ng problema, mga ganong bagay. Okay, so yung result, very important aspect yan or data yan na kailangan natin i-gather pagkatapos ng activity, okay? So, the success of the community outreach activity or program or project does not stop noong natapos yung activity, pero may evaluation pa pagkatapos. And then it provides an avenue of making program revision and adjustments, and then it provides opportunity for the trainees to experience and develop skills in conducting evaluation. So, what to evaluate? Ano ba yung mga kailangan natin i-evaluate? There are five aspects of evaluating the NSTP project in order to be successful, namely, number one, effort. In measuring the efforts exerted in the project, the trainees use the input evaluation type, which identifies available resources, both in human, personal, material resources, such as money, educational tools, methods, or techniques, and the activities undertaken. O, yung mga, ito na na ninyo, once again, donation, yung siya collection, let's just be clear with that wala tayong naging fixed amount to, to donate. Um, clarify natin na pwede din kayong magbigay ng mga clothes ninyo na hindi na ginagamit sa bahay, mga ano man dyan na pwede nyo ibigay para makatulong. Effect. In assessing effect, trainees and like, measure the outcomes of the efforts made and then adequacy. In measuring adequacy, trainees need to look into the effectiveness of the project in terms of the number of clients being served. Naging effective ba? Yung NSTP project natin as to adequacy, I think it's it's yes. It's a yes. The answer is um, a solid yes. Kasi nga, sobra-sobra pa. Um, well, 
kasi naman, nung na-interview natin itong mga Badjaws, brother and sisters natin, may mga umuwi na pala sa Mindanao. So originally, marami talaga sila at may mga umuwi na nabawasan sila. So parang kung naaalala ninyo, nasa 30s, 40s na lang sila and then yung dala natin na PAX ay more than 50. At uh, okay lang naman kasi sabi ko nga, pag naubos nila yung toothpaste o dibuksan nila yung isa, hindi naman kasi yun unlimited na hindi naubos, di ba? Okay, however, ayun din, isang aspect pa na kailangan nating pag-aralan ay yung sustainability na paano pag naubos na, so natapos na doon yung impact ng activity natin, paano yung sustainability? So, sa tingin ko, nag, uh, the sustainability lies doon sa lecture na ginawa natin, sana pang habang buhay nilang i-apply sa pang-araw-araw nila yung mga itinuro natin, such as paghuhugas ng kamay, na pinanood pa nila, nag-demonstrate pa tayo, uh, nag-ask pa tayo ng volunteer from their group kung sinong may gusto na i-apply yung natutunan niya. So, naghugas siya ng kamay niya, nag-apply siya ng sabon, nag-banlaw, habang kinakanta ang happy birthday, at yun yung duration ng paghugas ng kamay niya. So, sana tuwing magpukas sila ng kamay, ay maalala nila yun na patagalin ang pagpukuskos ng mga daliri o kung ano man dyan uh, within the duration of uh, the happy birthday song. So, yun naman yung sa sustainability. Since madali lang naman siyang tandaan at na-electure din naman siya ng maayos, sana panghabang buhay nila yun na maalala. So, <clears throat> okay. Alright. Number four, efficiency. This is done by determining the cost-benefit analysis by the trainers of the trainees and identifying the benefits derived from the program. Okay, and the process in evaluating the NSTP project, one should answer the questions on how and why the project worked or did not work. It also responds to the question on how the different project inputs can be utilized to arrive at good outcomes. So actually, we have discussed these things naman alone as as we um, go through this topic or through the slides salos na discuss naman natin isa isa so it must be considered that evaluation of projects is a continuous process and it has no end unless the project ceases to exist ayan ayan na yung lagi kong pinopoint out sa inyo na hindi naman ang community outreach program kung tutuusin Hindi yan pang isang araw lang, pang dalawang oras, tatlong oras, pero may uh, tumatag kaya nga meron pa tayong tatawag na memorandum of agreement, uh, kailangan sana ipapirma sa birthday officials, etc. Kasi ang community outreach program, kung tutuusin, eh, dapat naglalas yan, let's say, um, half a year or for the entire year, tapos saka mo lang makikita yung pinakaresulta ng ikinundak mo yung project. Okay? Hindi siya, kung tutuusin ay, hindi siya pang isang araw lang. Okay? But, you know, um, for the purpose of just uh, actualizing what you have proposed, kahit nasa ganong paraan lamang, subukan ninyo, since it's not possible for the entire year, uh, unang-una, ang um, NSTP nyo naman ay for an, for an entire SEM lang naman, at uh, hindi rin naman possible yung mga napag-aralan natin dati na pag immerse pa kayo doon, uh, makikitulog or makikitira doon sa community na tutulungan ninyo para makilala ninyo yung uh, mga tutulungan natin. So, these things, some things are uh, really not possible or hindi sa hindi possible pero there are factors, okay? And in our case, hindi siya uh, gaano posible. So, we are doing what within our capacity ayon what we are doing is within our capacity okay so effective management of nstp projects requires proper documentation periodic monitoring and evaluation to ensure right implementation of the signed goals and objectives okay meron tayong documentation um may mga inassign tayo na mag taking pictures mag take ng video mag interview mag take notes mag scribble um sulat ng narrative ayan meron din tayong mga forms na pinel out Ay, uh, mga sur surveys natin, mga documents na yan ay well kept. Ayan. At uh, ipapasa rin natin. May portfolio din tayo dito na ipapasa sa opisina. Alright. So, who will conduct evaluation of the NSTP projects? 
uh, then a CP project is done by and through the following trainees themselves. So kayo mismo, um, kapag kayo, lalo na yung mga taga doon, pwede nyo naman silang tanungin o oh, parang makagather kayo ng data kung anong naging impact ng ginawa nating pagtulong. You can ask them questions. You can observe them. Uh, parang yung mga binigyan natin ng chinelas, ilang buwan na tagal nilang gagamitin ang mga iyon o oh, anong naging impact niya kung dati ba ay nagkakasugat-sugat yung paano lang ngayon ay hindi na mga ganong effects and impacts. Trainers and facilitators and STP office personnel with a given reference, CHED or TESTA as outside evaluators, pwede sila. Pero sa case natin, pwede lang din naman within our campus yung ating NSTP coordinator, ayan, yung NSTP office personnel natin, Sir Saudi or our chairperson, Ma'am Rhea, or our college dean, um, Mayra Katunggal, or our, or our campus executive director, Dr. Lisa Kimson. Sila yung mga pwedeng mag-evaluate sa atin sa, sa success ng project natin. And then follow up studies if there are any. How are the NSTP projects evaluated? Identification of the objectives. It must be in behavioral terms. When we say behavioral terms, in action. Okay, behavior. Kailangan yung objective mo magawa siya in action. Okay, it should be specific, measurable, attainable, result oriented, and time bound. Smart natin. My objectives sa isa lesson planning. Uh, at ang characteristics ng objectives na yan ay smart, they should be smart. Ganon din dito sa NSTP natin. They should be specific, they should be in behavioral terms. Ibig sabihin, in action. So, kailangan measurable, nami-measure mo, nakikita mo. Okay, attainable, kailangan dapat pwede siyang gawin, posible siyang gawin. Okay, attainable, result-oriented, and then time-bound within um, a specific time frame. It must include the domains of learning which serve as basis of assessing their knowledge, its skills, and attitudes. So, syempre, kaya kung nga kayo tinuturuan ng mga theories na ito para may apply natin in reality, hindi naman tayo pumunta doon nang wala tayong bit-bit na weapon or bala or baril. Hindi tayo nakasapak sa gera na wala tayong panlaban. Okay? At ang panlaban natin na tinutukoy ko ay hindi literal na baril at bala, pero yung mga theories na natutunan natin dito sa ating NSTP subject. Okay, number two, examine program activities and implementation procedures. Here are the questions that you need to consider. Number one, what are the activities identified to meet the objectives? How are these activities undertaken and did it achieve the objectives of the program? Okay, number three, indicators of expected outcome. Are the methods, approaches relevant to the project? Are the materials appropriate for the activity? Are there changes among clients on the following knowledge? Attitude, values, beliefs, habits, practices, skills. Okay. So when do we evaluate? Kailan tayo nag evaluate It's usually done at the end. Let's find out. Let's, let's see kung ano ang best time to evaluate. Evaluation must be undertaken before, during, and after the project. Diba? <laughs> yung sinabi ko kanina, at the end, ang sabi dito, not only at the end, it should be undertaken before, during, and after the project. So we have a term here, preactively evaluation. What is this? This is done before the conduct of the project to provide baseline information on knowledge, skills, attitudes, and other characteristics of the target client. Specifically, it provides data on the client's needs, strengths, and weaknesses regarding the project. So, ito yung pinatawag natin na needs assessment survey. Preactively evaluation. Okay. Evaluation of an ongoing project is necessary to time out how the project is progressing. It answers questions like, is the project ex executed on plan? Are there or as planned yan dapat? Are there problems in the program implementation? What problems have been encountered? What solutions or actions are being taken to attain project objectives? And then post evaluation. So tapos na tayo dun sa pre, during, or ongoing, and then now we dun na sa dulo post evaluation na post evaluation of activity determines whether project objectives have been attained. Or are the clients show measurable gain in knowledge, attitude, and skills? It also ascertains the amount of change that has taken place in the clients. Okay, yung kinutukoy dito sa yung clients natin o yung mga beneficiaries natin, nag-gain ba sila in knowledge? Definitely, nung kinuroan natin sila kung paano magbukas ng kamay. Additional knowledge nila yun. Dati hindi nila alam, ngayon alam na nila. Sa attitude nila, so ano yung naging 
attitude nila pagdating sa pagkain, pagdating sa kalinisan, ayan, nagbago pa yung kanilang perspective na kung dati okay lang na hindi maghugas ng kamay, ngayon kailangan na na dapat maghugas ng kamay. And of course, skills. Ayun, tinuruan natin sila kung paano uh, linisan, hugasan yung mga gulay, mga prutas, yung pagkain, kung paano lutuin para mas maging masustansya at mas maging malinis, maiwasan ang bacteria, etc. Okay, so, we are hoping na doon sa ginawa nating lecture, food box distribution, uh, nagkaroon ng knowledge, additional knowledge, and then positive, perspec uh, positive perspective or attitude and skills yung mga bajaw brothers and sisters natin. Okay, evaluation form sample, name of project. Oh, example natin yung sa HR2A, um, walk protectors, uh, kasi nagpagay sila ng mga chinelas. Implemented on, kailan yung date proponents, syempre yung uh, grupo na yun. Okay, pero ang ginawa kasi ay perception na. So, this can be in the name of the narrative uh, writer, the leader, your class president, yung mga sumama, and then uh, contributory naman kayo lahat. And then walang problema sa grade, okay? Kasi lahat naman kayo ay make sure na nag-participate. Parang yung iba na malengke na lang, kasama sa planning, nagplano, nag-decide sa kung anong mga bibilhin, anong mga ibibigay in the first place, kung anong project muna. Okay, so lahat kayo ay may grade, walang problema. Okay, evaluation form sample, syempre may rating dyan. Titik lang natin yan, o kung sino ang mag-evaluate sa atin. For example, yung chair natin, dean natin, o yung NSTP coordinator natin, or campus executive director, kung may, may oras na besetahin yung ginawa natin. Okay, so the following slides are just forms. Send ko na lang din sa inyo ito. Okay, in summary, the flowchart below is the step-by-step -step process in the conduct of community immersion activities and projects under us of the auspices of the National Service Training Program. Okay, now discuss na natin to dante yung pre-immersion, during immersion, after immersion. Ayan, so let's make a letter of request, students assessment, coordination, and then um implementation of the project. Let's discuss na natin yan. How do we conduct immersion activities in the light of NSTP? Discuss na rin natin yan. You just go over them kung gusto ninyo. Balikan nyo lang, basahin nyo lang ulit kung gusto ninyo. Okay, in summary, documentation is a reservoir of information. When we say reservoir, uh, storage, yan, collection, ano pa, ample, yung, uh, let's say, Parang kunwari, register office, reservoir of students' day na yun. Ayan. So, documentation is a reservoir of information that can improve future programs. It is vital to the management to avoid duplication and repetition of mistakes and contribute more to greater efficiency and effectiveness operation. Kasi na document mo lahat, so nandun lahat yung mga good size, mga pagkakamali. O, so, since sa document mo, um, nagre-remind sa'yo, hindi mo na uulitin in the next projects. Hence, it must be picked absolute truth of events and other important data for future reference and source of information. So, documentation, wala dapat na may make it dyan. Ayan, wala kayong sinasabi na hindi naman natin ginawa. Wala kayong sinasabi na hindi naman nangyari. Sa documentation, honesty is one important element. Okay? Kasi, mag-compromise niya yung future decisions natin kung mag e kayo ng mga bagay na hindi naman nangyari during the community outreach activity. Result monitoring is a systematic and continuous process. Take note of continuous process. It doesn't end in one lecture or in one distribution of food packs. It's a continuous process in checking projects done during the NSTP immersion. During the event, it determines whether the inputs are achieved on time or as planned, and whether outputs were maximized as required. It manifests the progress and identifies interventions needed as a way of keeping track on the status of the project. It must be carefully planned in order to obtain desired result as input to decision making. Evaluating the impact of the project is an attempt to assess as to whether the project in general has made a difference in the lives of target audience. It enables you 
to determine the effects of the project had on the client deals. And if all the aforementioned requirements are fully met, then we can truly quantify and qualify to what extent we have touched the lives of the people. Quotation tayo dito from Flora Labugin. Ay, hindi pala siya quotation. Sabi niya, the quality of NSTP projects is never an accident. It is always the result of good intention and skillful execution of people concerned. Okay, so ang NSTP projects hindi yan isang accident, hindi yan isang himala. Ang NSTP project ay result ng masusing, pagpaplano, pagpaproseso, careful execution of kung ano man ang plinano. Okay? It represents the wise choice of many alternatives and the culture of the heart about the program. Okay? So it explores um, alternatives, creative thinking of the proponents, of the people involved, and of course, the culture of kindness, yung, yung nilalaman ng inyong puso, magmamanifest. magmamanifest. Magmamanifest yan uh, sa success ng activity. Kung yung ginagawa ninyo ay mula sa puso, you're very willing, it will show up. It will always manifest. Makikita yan eh. Makikita yan kung napipilitan lang kayo, kung ginagawa nyo lang for the sake of grade. Uh, so far, dun sa mga nakasama ko, I felt naman na uh, they were touched. Natuwa sila nung nakita nila na nag, natuwang-tuwa yung mga bajaw. Nag-observe ako sa inyo para lang alam ninyo. Nakikita ko yung mga mukha ninyo. Alam ko kung sino yung mga totoo sa kanyang ginagawa. Yung willing yung kahit na mahinit na patuloy pa rin sa lecture, etc. Okay? Alright. So, I think that's the end of our um, NSTP2 program documentation, monitoring, and evaluation of the community outreach projects, programs, activities. Uh, I don't know kung may susunod pa tayong topics parang last na ito. So, magpapatuloy na tayo sa writing of another project proposal for our finals naman. Okay, thank you very much. Sana ay panuulit din yung ito. Bye!